Hi guys, okay, let's get right into this. Let's look at the importance of currency strength. You see it time and time again where traders in FX simply just do not know which markets they should be trading at what time. Okay, and that's because they simply don't understand the basics, the fundamental basics of currency trading. What I mean by that is whenever you, Forex is really unique to any, any other market we can trade. It's because we're always trading two markets together, we're always pairing things together. We don't do that in stocks or commodities or any other market, but in currencies we're always working in pairs. So when you're looking at this chart, we're looking at two, two currencies. We're looking at Euro Dollar here. So the movement in this chart is based on what the Euro was doing and the Dollar was doing. So this chart is going up. It's going up for one of three reasons. It's either going up because the Euro is strong or the dollar is weak, or ideally, best scenario is actually that the euro is strong and the dollar is weak together, okay? But by looking at this chart on its own, you cannot tell exactly what's driving this market. Uh, this chart cannot tell you that on its own right. All you can do is determine that it is going up. But you need to be able to understand, what, am I buying the euro or am I selling the dollar? So you need to have a way formulated in order to measure markets and currency strength. And if you can't do it visually by yourself, uh, then I recommend you get some form of indicator in order to do that for you. We have created one here. You see at the bottom, it's called the currency strength matrix. And what it does is it reads the currency strength by reading 28 charts simultaneously. So we can determine whether a, any one currency is strong or weak at any point in time. Looking at this chart, as I say, we don't know whether it's the, the euro was strong or the dollar was weak, but if we actually look down here to the indicator, I just isolate uh, the two currencies in question. The red is the euro, the dollar is the uh, purple. And what we can actually see is here is the euro has been relatively stable, just sitting above the zero line, and the dollar has actually had the weakness. The dollar keeps moving lower down to the extreme down through here. So essentially what we have here is anything above zero, as we're saying, it's got more, it's in more uptrends than downtrends, and anything down here below zero is in more downtrends than uptrends. And you can see essentially the euro's been sitting fairly stable. So uh, all in all, the euro hasn't been driving this rally. The euro's been rather, it's been positive, but it's not been a strong currency. A strong currency is going to be up here at these at the highs, uh, five, six, and seven. But the euro's actually been fairly stable, and it's the the dollar has actually been driving this. And this is really, really important that you understand, am I buying the euro or am I selling the dollar? Because if you keep making this the, the wrong decisions, you're gonna lose money and trade the wrong markets. Now to, to show you what I mean by this, and it, and it has actually been the, uh, the dollar driving this and not the euro, if we go and actually look at across other dollar charts at the same time, you see against the pound, against the, the uh, Aussie, and against the Kiwi, all moving higher. So that's to mean the euro, or, dollar weakness. Whereas if you look at some of the Euro charts, actually you can see there against the pound range bound, against the Aussie through that period of time predominantly range bound, and against the Kiwi predominantly range bound. So we don't actually have a fundamentally have a strong Euro. That's not what's been driving that chart higher. We have a weak dollar. Okay, and it's really, really important we're able to determine that. So we're trading the right things. We want to see when you're trading currencies, you're trading relative strength. We need to be buying something that's strong and selling something this week. If you find markets that are not in that opposing nature, you will find that you're trading the wrong thing at the wrong time. You'll see periods here where both markets are on the same side. The dollar's above the zero, the euro's above the zero through that period of time. We don't have trend. Yeah, we go back through again. There's even periods here where both are below. We don't have trend. Both are below here. We don't have trend. We want to see them moving away. Yeah, moving away from each other. There's a perfect example there. The, the dollar's moving away. The euro's moving away. And we have opposing forces. And the market moves. And they repel against each other. Let me show you another example of what I mean by this. Let's pick another chart. Kiwi dollar has been fantastic over this last few few months with regards to the movement and how the uh, indicator has been picking up the changes in strength uh, as it al as it always does. But if we just isolate here on Kiwi dollar, uh, just turn the rest off and we get the Kiwi uh, Kiwi yellow and dollar uh, again on the purple. You want to see you're looking for opposing forces. You want to see two currencies moving away from each other. You want one getting strong and one getting weak and fundamentally strong and weak against multiple currencies, not just because one is getting weak relative to the other. And if you can see that these periods, 
Look at the opposing natures here. We see Kiwi getting weaker and the yellow and the and the dollar getting strong. Moving away from here, look at the way the market accelerates. I and mean, we actually, even when we get to the bottom here, long before the, the trend actually changed through here, you can see the dollar's getting weaker. Look at that. We're already losing strength here in the dollar before the trend actually changes. Now we get Kiwi starting to strengthen along with the dollar start weakening. And they cross through here and the trend changes. Again, the same thing's happening right up here. Even before, again, the Kiwi starts to roll over, we start to see this, the indicator telling us the Kiwi's getting weaker. And a few bars later, we see the dollar getting stronger and the two of them's about to cross again in the opposite direction. This goes back through periods. We need to see opposing forces in currency trading. If you do not know how to measure and read currency strength, I really recommend you check out our currency strength matrix. So say, look back down through here, we had periods where they're actually quite similar. Look at this, we don't have trend. The markets are staying quite flat, both are especially in through that period, a terrible area to be, be trading. We need to see these periods where they're, we've got the opposing forces, where they're both, one is strong and the other is weak, and you can pick up which markets are the right ones to trade and avoid anything that's sitting here moving sideways or moving parallel to each other. Okay, guys, check it out for yourself. Uh, you can check out some more of our other videos on our currency strength matrix. Uh, but if you have any other questions, feel free to drop us an email. Okay.